One of the concerns that United States and like-minded partners often express is that Chinese efforts in the Pacific are going against uh, many of Pacific Island um, equities that they may have. And of course, uh, U.S. interest in the Pacific is not just because of global competition, but that's a factor that the Pacific Islands are very aware of. Uh, I'm curious your thoughts from the UN perspective, what you see on the ground there in terms of Chinese and other efforts to countermand the, the international rules-based order that benefit the Pacific, and how you work with Pacific Island and other countries to combat that. It's, it's a huge problem that, uh, that we've encountered specifically in New York, but I think it's a, it's a global problem as well where the Chinese have made a very concerted, forceful effort to kind of rewrite the rules of the road uh, to reflect its own vision of what they see uh, as the future, including uh, putting in, uh, ins inserting in, in UN documents uh, issues that uh, go against the, the core values that we have and the core values that many of these countries have. But what we've been clear on, and I made uh, uh, that uh, statement as well when I was in uh, the Cook Islands, is that we're not trying to force countries to choose between us and China. What we're doing is giving them a choice uh, to make. Many countries will say we're, we're forced into these relationships because we don't have other choices. We're giving them those other choices, and those other choices mean having the U.S. Uh, have their backs, having the U.S. Uh, standing with them side by side as they address some of the challenges that China is uh, forcing upon them. Uh, also raised with me was the issue of, of uh, 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 maritime fishing and the uh, use of their, their fishing lanes by, uh, by countries in particular uh, concerns with uh, China uh, coming in and, and, and really st taking uh, fishing resources uh, without their permission and how we could address, for example, helping them to build up their Coast Guard. So I also had a member of the Coast Guard from the region on my delegation as well uh, who was able to engage with them on, on marine uh, protection and how to protect their, their coast. These are also things that, again, the UN can bring to them uh, in, in their discussions. And it also means addressing the impact that China has uh, uh, through its own uh, financing, which has in the past, and I think even I, I can say uh, would certainly even now, has put these countries into uh, a debt trap. And we have to figure out how to help them get out of that uh, debt trap, but also how to address uh, more um, um, just reliable uh, funding and, and easy to access funding. I, I think with one country I spoke to, they're like, we don't have the people to fill out all these forms <laughs> and to uh, answer all the questions that come in from the FA. So we can't take advantage of some of this development funding because we don't have the people resources to do it. So we can help on that from that standpoint as well, you know, helping to build the capacity uh, that they have on the ground to add to that capacity by giving them uh, uh, the people resources to help them uh, access uh, this funding in a more equitable way.